This is the Love Dare, day six. Day six of the love there. Love is not irritable. Who is too slow to anger is better than the mighty, and he who rules his spirit than he who captures a city. Proverbs chapter 16 32 love is hard to offend and quick to forget how easily do you get irritated and offended I'm working on that <laughs> some people have the motto never pass up opportunities to get upset with your spouse when something goes wrong, how hurt or frustrated they are. But this is the opportunity, opposite reaction of love. To be irritable means to be near the point of a knife. Not far from being poked, people who are irritable are locked, loaded, and ready to overreact. Don't overreact. I'm working on that myself, along with patience, kindness, and thoughtfulness. Not rude, not selfish, not irritable. When understand pressure, Love doesn't turn sour. Minor problems don't yield manner reactions. The truth is love does not get angry or hurt unless there is a ligament and just some re just reason in the sight of God. A loving husband, wife, friend, or partner is not overall sensitive or cranky, but excess emotional self-control. She or he chooses to be a flower among the thorns and respond presently during prickly situations. If you are walking under the influence of love, you will be a joy, not a jerk. Ask yourself, am I a clammy breeze or a storm waiting to happen? Why do people become irritable? They are the last two keys reasons that contribute to it. Don't be fast to anger or irritable. I'll be right there. Is it time to eat? I'm reading. Hold on. Stress. Stress weighs down, drains your enemies weakens your health and invites you to be cranky, but it can be brought on by relation, relation, relation cause. Argue, division, and bitterness. There are ex excessive cause, overworking, overplayed, and overspending and there are differences in not getting enough rest, nutrition, or exercise. Oftentimes, we are inflicted these 
daggers on ourselves. And this sight is up to the irritable. Life is a marathon, not a sprint. The Bible can help you avoid unhealthy stress. It teaches you to love guide your relationship so you aren't caught up in unnecessary arguments. That's what happened to me. And I need to work on it. I shouldn't have got easy to anger. To pray, though, your anxieties instead of tackling them down on your own. To delight by the overworked Philippians chapter 4 through 6, Exodus 18 through 17 through 23, chapter 18, to avoid overdulgence. It is also exhort to take Sabbath, vacant day, even week of worship and rest. This strategy also you time to recharge refocus and breathing room or margin to your week schedule and goes these kinds of extra spaces or face which is to the pressure around you reducing the stress keeps you on edge around your mate, but there is a deeper reason why you can't, you can become irritable, selflessness. And I was, and I need to work on that too. When you are irritable, the heart of the problem is primarily a problem of the heart. Jesus said, out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaks some people are like lemons when life squeezes them they pour out sour <coughs> some of them are like peaches when when the pressure is on when the pressure is on them, Punisher. The result is sweet. Being easily angered is an indicator that a hidden area of selflessness or insecurity is present where love is supposed to rule. But selflessness also warns many others mask lust, for example is the result of being ungrateful for what you have chosen to divert or burn with passion for something that is forbidden. These motions can never be satisfied by the love and tires your heart. It calms you down and inspires you to quiet focus on yourself. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to better myself as I read this and help you guys in the process. Love will lead you to forgive instead of hold on a grudge. It's not good to hold on to a grudge. You gotta let it loose if you're going to move forward. To be grateful instead of greedy. To be content rather than rushing into more debt. Love encourages you to be happy when someone else succeeds rather than lying awake in the night in the eve. It is set up your heart to respond to your spouse with a patient and encouragement rather than anger an expiration so you want to be patient and encourage 
good things. Today's dare. Choose today to react to touch circumstance in your marriage, relationship, or partnership in loving ways instead of with irritation. In other words, hold your tongue, be kind. Don't know what that is. Being by making a list below of areas where you need to add margin to your schedule when least the wrong motivation that you need to release from your life. Check here when you completed your today's dare. Where do you need to add margin in your life? All over. I need to practice everything. That's why I'm trying to better myself and help you guys in the process. When you have recently overreacted, that was your real motivation behind it. What discussions have you made today? You can write it down in your journal. And that was day six. Day six was love is not irritable. So that's day six of the love dare. I'm going to be working on this every step of the way. I need to work on this to better myself. And I need to learn to be patient, kind, thoughtful, not rude, selfish, or irritable. It's not good. And I was, and that was my fault. I admit, I need to work on things a lot. That's why I'm doing this to maybe, to better myself but also to help you guys out there learn to help your relationship out flourish. So thank you for watching. May God be with you in your love dare challenge or your life as you, we go through this love dare. Thank you for very much. God bless.